The inspiration is coming from a beautiful book. The name of the book is Habiller le ciel. It's um, the story, it's a true story. Um, it's um, a big teacher, a big uh, um, author who lost his mom when he was in Europe and his mom died in, uh, in Cameroon. And he, feel, he felt very bad because he, he, he felt guilty somewhere and he decided to write a book and uh, it was like a discussion with his mom, with all the family. Valeria is here and she's just, um, she's lying. And he was, he was always telling that the big dream of his mom is to see uh, her children in um, uh, very highly educated. And it's a, a beautiful discussion between the author and his mom, and he feels always that his mom is with, with him, crying for his success. It's a beautiful book. I invite you to read it. Um, first of all, the writer is my friend, and uh, so uh, for me uh, to be always with the friends, it's very important, and to support them in a bad and good moments. Secondly, I love really this book, because you can read it in one, one shot. <laughs> and um, I discover the culture of Cameroon that I didn't know, and I feel my roots as African, and it's about my work as artist. Uh, I have always very, it's uh, highly colorful, my work, and it's, um, I'm always working about inconscience, and uh, Africa is always, always here in my dreams, in my, uh, in my fears, in my hopes, that's why. That, that's the part of my unconscious. Perhaps there is clothes coming from my, my grandparents or perhaps from my uh, little children, but um, it's my imagination, uh, free, you know. When you are in a book, you are like in a bubble, and you imagine what you want. You have the facts, but you imagine all the, the, all the other things. And for me, there is bird for the freedom. So I'm always painting very free, and um, colors, I take them freely, and 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 we have this result. This painting, you can turn it, and it has um, another in this side and other side. You can see from all the the sides. Oh, it's it's the same feeling that I have always when I am painting. In like a, it's like a big prior. You are in connection with a big energy. Um, and um, it's like in French we say trance. So you begin and you don't know what will happen. You come back again and again and just discover. Like a, there is a gift when you finish the painting. And uh, for me the most important is to be always free when you are painting. Don't take care about fashion or what people love or what this color go with this or this or not just to do things that you feel really and to be authentic and that it's enough for me. That is my work. That is my way to work in. And for me this painting gives me a lot of happiness because we understand that people who die and uh, who die doesn't die because they are always in our heart and they are always with us. The way they say there is a touch, this touch you can find it off in the other painting. I walk in the wood in this painting and it's three dimensional, but you, when you see it, you will see this is the work of Leila. There is something special <laughs> that's uh, yeah, important. And he, there is, um, you don't do something special. When it's happened, it's happened. All your painting has something common. It's like a research. And the research can change, the material can change, but the hand is the, ma the same, and uh, the, the freedom from painting is always the same. Of course, there is a part of me, people sometimes say to me, the painting looks like me. Of course, it's uh, like autobiographic. But uh, of course, um, all is written in our uh, genetic.
we we have we are all from the world we are all the same and there is a lot of part of us and uh, uh, painting is a way to express sometimes feeling that we don't we don't understand but it's here there is a feeling and if you ask the family they say um, uh, I have a big fear, for example, about C. Ah, oh, yes, there is the grandmother. She has a problem. She was going to die. And you discover um, secrets of family. And there is things you will never understand because it's a lot of generation before us. Yeah, but the African roots, of course, I feel, because I'm African.